Hi, in this activity, we will first create a basic suite configuration. Then, we will implement basic connectivity by configuring IP addressing on switches and PC. When the IP addressing configuration is complete, we will use various show commands to verify the configuration and use ping command to verify basic connectivity between devices. Now we config switch one. Firstly, we will config S1 with a host name. Then, we config the console and encrypted privilege mode passwords. Now we will verify the password configuration on this switch. To show the running configuration on the configuration mode, we should add the do keyword in front of the command. We have the host name and the enable secret with the password is encrypted. And the password of the light console is in plain text. Now we will configure the MOTD banner for this switch. You can copy the text and using the combination of key control C then you paste it and use the quotation to enclose the text of the banner now I will save the configuration file to NVRAM. Next, we will repeat configuration steps 1 to 5 for suite 2 and this is your job to complete all the requirements similar to uh, the configuration on switch one. Now we will move on to part two to configure the PCs. Now we have a look at the IP address table. You can see the PC one and PC two with the IP address. Now we move on to part three. Configure the switch management interface. As you know, switches can be used as plug and play devices. This means that they do not need to be configured for them to work. 
switches forward information from one port to another based on MAC addresses. So why would we configure switches with IP addresses? The answer is for the management purpose. If you want to log in to the switch from remotely and then you configure it, you should have an IP address on the switch to connect from remotely, for example, from the PC1 to the switch. As you can see, I enter mode config interface for VLAN 1. And VLAN 1 is the management interface. Now I set the IP address for VLAN 1 interface. VLAN 1, the IP address. Then, we no shutdown. As you can see, the interface VLAN 1 is up. And the live protocol running on this interface change state to up. Similar to switch 1, we can configure the management interface on switch 2. Now we will verify the IP interface on switch 1 and switch 2. You can see we have VLAN 1. up with the IP address. On C2, we enter the same command or do VLAN 1 is up with the IP address. Now we will save the configuration for S1 and S2 to NVRAM. In step five, we will verify network connectivity using ping command on PC1. I ping to the IP address of PC2. It's successful. We can see the reply from PC2. We have four reply messages from PC2. Now I want to verify the connection from PC1 to switch 1. So I use a ping command and set the IP, the destination IP address of switch 1. We have one uh, ping message 
reply and the result is request time out so why do we have this we can ping again now we get four reply from the switch one now I can ping the switch two IP address Firstly, we get a timeout message. Then I ping again. You can see that we get four reply from C2. That's all for this activity. Thank you for watching.